Hello there guys, and this is my response to Ripper Steve M5's uh, Redstone Mystery. So, um, in this video, you walk through and you have to choose which side to put redstone on this on these pieces of glowstone here. So, as in the video, you can put on the right hand side and test it. Uh oh. Let's get rid of that. Um, you also show that you can run both sides. Oh, not good. And then he also showed with no sides. And still getting lava dropped on us. The final way was just on the left side. And would you look at that? And there's a reset button. So, um,. This is my final design. Well, not final, I guess. Just uh, something which works. Um, and I'll, I'll talk you through some of the thought ideas that I had starting off with this project. So the first issue that he brought up was how to power these glowstone, uh, the, these redstones, and he suggested that you power them from under these blocks. So, um, in other words, something like. this, which is more than acceptable, um, but I decided to power them another way, and uh, that was by the property of glowstone, where redstone can travel up it um, without um, without being stopped by blocks being in the way. Um, it has to be transparent blocks though. So that way you can power them. You'd have your four across here. You can power them like this, and that's under the floor. The second thing was the moving background. Um, so in the video, he he makes it look like it's needed in part of the process, and maybe in his version is, but. Um, after later testing for mine, I didn't need it, but to get the moving background, I just use a simple um, T flip flop, um, and I've just used different blocks here to show you that it does actually move. So if I um, have this, we'll shift across one. Um, and obviously, so yeah, the next problem is trying to get the get some kind of output out of the back of it so that's where these two pieces of glowstone there they're the ones with the um the redstone on top that would get interchanged on and off so um yeah now obviously oh uh, sorry another property of glowstone is that you can send power up them So you can send power up them, but you can't send power down more than one. So obviously just having something that comes out here is not going to work because it's not going to flow down there. Um, also because it's a transparent block, um, I have got redstone in there so it should work if, it, if we're going to. But um, also because it's a transparent block, um, you can't draw power out of it. Um, Pistons won't react to it. Um, what have I? Oh yes. Um, so when you're doing this, if you watch carefully at the redstone, you can see that its, it's graphic the graphical properties changes just as this switches over the middle because it temporarily joins up. But um, unfortunately, this is only graphical because my next thought. Um, is to do something with a um, a um, bud switch. So I guess this is just more elaborate setup. Um, oh no, no, sorry. <laughs> I just change this out. So this um, you can see this is a bud switch as the block updates next to it updates it. So um, 
this will go across again. But actually turn this off so it's not bug switch anymore. You can still see see that it does its graphical update. But then if I and if I enable the bud switch, it doesn't activate it. Um, so therefore it's just a graphical glitch, not an actual a uh, graphical I don't know, malfunction, rather than actually being a um, being an actual update. Um, next, I thought is because of the the um, shifting blocks. I thought that maybe because um, redstone can tra um, can travel under half slabs, they're transparent. Um, so you can have power going through them. And I thought maybe that's what he had done. But then, no, I'm sorry, I'd, I'd set up this. And um, if you look closely, there is a half slab in the middle there. Um, and that gets shifted across as fast as it can go. Um, but unfortunately, again, because there's a glowstone here, and also as I was explaining before, it um, it doesn't pass, yeah, pass power downwards, and so even if it was just a, a nothing block, it's not going to do it anyway. Um, so I got a bit frustrated at that point, and I was just trying to place pistons everywhere, and um, I had found out that in these in these corners of this block, because it is actually being passed from this block to this block, um, there's actually a directional line, similarly, uh, similarly, no, sorry, um, as, as this does this, as it joins up and actually goes to power the next block. See so if I have this like that, then if it's not in line with it, doesn't power it. That's a that's a update glitch there. Um, so it is actually pushing into this block, and this block is actually conducting the power, um, but only across this way for some reason. And I think that might be a, a bug. So you can take power off there, and obviously, if you have power going to here, and you remove this connector, it won't power. It. So that's how I um. I got my outputs, so I pull, I pulled them out of there, and then I just used the center thing, which powers the glowstone. It's a redstone that you put on glowstone, and took the power out of that. So the rest of this is pretty much a, a bunch of AND gates. So the button is behind this panel here. Oh, sorry, this panel actually, this block. Um, so it powers this, and it does the wall switch just to just to be. Um, just to do the same as the video, and so it sends a, well, first of all, when you place the, the redstone down, it will activate these, which is just a physical, um, a physical on-off switch, I guess, um, so the thing is, we want, if this one's ever down, sorry, if this one's, if there's no glowstone here, we want it to always put out lava. So that way, if we invert the output, um, actually we don't, we don't even need this. Yes, we do, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, if we invert the output of this, um, this will turn off this line and it will be depowered. But if that's off, it will power the line. If this is down, it will power the line. So any of the cases, the line will pad except for that one just being the only one down. Um, and we, then we put that through another inverter um, just because that we want it to be powered when that one's the only one down. And you see if I um, if I go and switch, switch over the, the redstone to something like this, so this should be not putting out 
um, the line is being powered from here as well as not being powered and then invert it across here and then if we don't have this one down still being inverted from the absence of power to this one and then the fourth the fourth um, possibility is them both being powered and then it's still being powered from this one so that that takes down our arrows takes um yeah our four possibilities and only one of them will give us on here so when you push the button power come down here and it lets the power go through um, first off it goes into this um, RS null latch and it sets it um, and by setting this it sends power um, across here and opens up the latch so it uh, opens up like the drop down bit um, it also sends power up along this line so this line joins in with here is the lava switch so it has this line coming through in fact we can optimize that a little bit um so it's going to be uh, this line will turn off no matter what happens with the pat um, with the button being pressed unless power is sent through here and activates this one so if this one um i don't know how to show you this but anyway um if I can do. Right, so if I activate this, it's on. Anyway. Now it's on the correct one. So you'll see when I push when I push the button, this line stays on. Even though it should be turned off by this torch, this this one keeps it going. Um and then while that that one's out, I'll do this one as well. Um, and then if if it's in the incorrect position, this one this line won't be activated. Oh, I've got to reset. Um, this is just the reset line on the other side, same as over the others. Oh no, it's got to different switches. <laughs> Alright, so this is reset now. And if activated, see how the line turns off, and so that sets. That sets this RS null latch, which then powers, uh, depowers the piston in here and opens up the, the gate for the live to go through. Um, then for this reset button, um, for the lava, it comes up and resets the RS null latch and also it brings power down and resets this um, RS null latch to the default setting and the default setting is um, is when the lava is off and gates and this hatch is closed um, and then the reset line down here simply just goes in resets this again um, so yeah that's my solution to it um, thank you for a challenge it kept me occupied for a little while um, and likes like the video if you um, enjoyed it and subscribe to to view more of these because i like doing this stuff and hopefully i'll be out of uh, sorry hopefully i'll be able to put out more all right so uh, thank you very much for watching